backslash n welcome to our video about the recent Silicon Valley bank failure. Last week, one of the biggest US bank failures since the 2008 financial crisis occurred when venture capitalists in Silicon Valley sparked a run on the Silicon Valley bank. This was largely blamed on billionaire investor, Peter Thiel, the founder of Founders Fund. With the bank's collapse, Thiel revealed that $50 million of his own money was stuck in the bank. Now, even though Founders Fund had advised many companies to move their money away from the Silicon Valley Bank, it's still unknown why they had kept a portion of Thiel's money in the bank. It is believed that some of the founders involved were accelerating the run on the bank and it resulted in $42 billion being removed from the bank in just one day. To make matters even worse, it was reported that wealth management companies and banks in Silicon Valley urged customers to withdraw their money from the Silicon Valley Bank. These decisions triggered an uproar in the company's financial circles, and Thiel received much of the blame for what happened. However, he said that he had put his money in the bank following the advice of finance professionals and he had expected the bank not to fail. Although Thiel and other large depositors had their money frozen for a moment, the US government quickly stepped in and guaranteed that all the customers would get their money back. So, the actions of Thiel and others may have led to the bank's collapse and subsequent freeze of their funds, but the US government managed to come to their rescue just in time. It's still uncertain why Thiel may have taken the risk to keep his money in the Silicon Valley Bank, when Founders Fund was warning other companies not to. It's also still unclear why some founders and wealth management companies decided to move their money away from the bank, whether it was intentional based on some unknown grudge, or simply out of precaution. Regardless, Peter Thiel's $50 million and many other customers' funds have been saved thanks to the US government. And although Founders Fund won't comment, Thiel himself insists that he acted in line with his fiduciary duties. We hope this video has clarified the recent Silicon Valley bank failure, the role of Founders Fund and the actions taken by the US government. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.